Ooh, fish one of the day. Widow Bassie. Okay, folks, welcome to Bobby's Lake, just south of Hillsdale, Michigan, here. Whoa. Come on, fishy. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, he's not hungry, but again, welcome to Ball Bees Lake, just south of Hillsdale, Michigan, here on the last early morning in July. Today, I'm just gonna do some exploring, hopefully put a few fish in the boat and give you a few good summer bass fishing tips. So let's get to it. Oh, we got them, folks. Woo! Kinda on a rocky little flat here and we got fish number two of the day. Got him. Come here, big bassy. Oh, come here, nice bassy. Ah. Is she three of the day? All right, so fish number three brings us to summer bass fishing tip one of the day, and it has to do with weather. Because unlike spring, where the fish are pretty much biting all the time, and even if they're not, you can find some technique or some spot where they're biting, the summer can be a lot tougher and is usually determined by weather. And what do I mean by weather? Well, it's three things. Fronts, temperature, and time of day. First of all, fronts, there's a lot to them. Warm front, cold front, high barometric, barometric pressure, low barometric pressure. I don't know the specifics, but usually if you're fishing right before a storm comes through, the bite's pretty good. If you're fishing after a storm comes through, the bite's pretty trash. Now, is this always the case? No, but I found it to be a pretty good telltale sign without diving too deep into the weather. Right now, I'm between fronts, so the fishing isn't good, it isn't bad, it's just meh. Second, temperature. I haven't found the temperature has a huge effect on fishing during the summer, but like, if it's over 100 degrees, who wants to be out in the water sweating to be fishing? I mean, I'd rather just be swimming. And third, the time of day. I found the best time to fish during the summer is usually the morning or the evening. Sometimes the evening's better, sometimes the morning's better, depends on the day. Midday, usually tough. Every once in a while you can catch a bunch of fish midday, but it's usually hot and the bite slows down and you'd rather be out in the morning and the evening when it's a little bit cooler. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to fishing, put a few more in the boat and give you a few more tips. No, oh my God, dude, come on. Oh, fish for a wet fish for a little bass bluegill mix all right folks finally got fish for the day it took me a lot longer than i expected and probably a lot longer than you realize we're on to tip two for catching more summertime bass which is water clarity so if you're fishing a lake like i am today which is usually super super clear and all of a sudden it rains and it's like muddy and cloudy and like basically chocolate soup, odds are you probably shouldn't even go fishing because you're probably not gonna catch a lot. Because unlike the spring where the fish are a little more resilient and hungry and you can throw a darker color or something with noise or vibration and still catch them, in the summer, if that clear water turns dark and muddy, odds are you're not gonna catch any. Another thing that affects water clarity is uh, whether it's cloudy or sunny. 
So if it's sunny like today, the fish can see really well, they can see your boat, they can see your line, your lure, but if it's cloudy, it hides all that. So sometimes on a cloudy day, you'll catch a lot more because the fish just, they don't see everything as well, which allows your bait to look more natural and you catch more fish. Another thing that affects water clarity is current. That's why I like to fish a lot of little canals and stuff because they keep the water cleaner, they keep it a little cooler, and a lot of times they'll carry bait. So I've found that fishing canals, I catch a lot of fish in the summer and even in the spring too when they're back there spawning, but I just catch fish there year round. And the last thing that affects water clarity is uh, wind. A lot of times if it's super windy and the fish are tra chasing bait, you'll find them towards where one end of the lake where the wind's blowing all the bait or it can kind of make the lake a little choppy and make it harder to catch fish. But I don't think the wind has that big of an effect on summertime bass fishing, but it's something to watch out for and think about. But for now, I'm gonna get back to fishing and hopefully put a few more in the boat and give you a few more tips. All right, so it's been a lot of cast and a lot of water covered since I caught my last fish. And I'm just not seeing the structure I wanna see. So that takes me to tip number three for catching more summertime bass. And that's uh, structure. So now that you know odds are whether they'll be biting or not be biting, where do you fish for them? Well, in the summer, fish are everywhere. You can catch them deep on deep pot rock pilings or just any deep structure with a Carolina rig worm working slow or a crankbait working faster which I normally don't do because I don't have uh, sonar and fish finders so I really don't know where those deep pumps are but you can also find them up shallow in thick vegetation that you can punch with some heavy weights in a soft plastic or throw a frog over the top you can catch them on docks which is a favorite of mine but all the docks here are in like less than two feet of water so like there's really not enough water for any good fish to be under there or my favorite place to catch them is on weed beds with a deep drop off right next to them it seems like the bass loves to sit in those weed bed and ambush prey right in the edge of those weed beds which was what i was hoping to fish today but all the weed beds around here are all kind of like shallow and sparse and they're all in less than five feet of water so it's been kind of tough to find structure where there's fish. The only place I've really caught them is on kind of a six foot deep kind of rock bed with some mollusk and stuff on it, which I think the fish were feeding on and I was just working a jig over that. But other than that, I haven't found really any structure where there's a good amount of bass sitting. It's all kind of bluegill area, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully catch at least one more and give you a few more tips. Oh my gosh, boat docks. Always one dumb fish, even on the shallow boat docks. Fishy number five. All right, so as I mentioned in tip three, the fish are everywhere, structure is key. But another thing I forgot to mention is that the reason they like boat docks or thick weed cover up shallow is because it provides shade and a little cooler water in the summer. So that's why they're so good. And uh, on boat docks, I like to fish a wacky rig or a jig. And um, on the deep weed beds, I like to run a crankbait or a spinnerbait on the outside and then fish with a jig or a soft plastic worm in the weeds also caught out and off the dock all right on to tip number four here um and that's color it ties back a little bit to tip number two in the summertime i find it the best thing to do is just use natural colors greens blues that kind of look like bluegills on your moving baits, just have them look like bluegill or perch or whatever shad's in that lake. 
I found just natural is the best color. Sometimes in the spring, I find like a red or a yellow really fires the fish up, but in the summer, I don't see that as much unless the water's a little bit stained. Also tying back to tip two, kind of water conditions is a lot of times in the summer, you'll get different flies or bugs that hatch throughout the summer at different times, or you get turnover or algae blooms, and those, um, can change the water color and the fish's appetite. So if you see a bunch of certain bugs that the fish are biting, try to throw something that looks like that. Or if the algae has the fish looking kind of a different color rather than like a dark color, they're looking light. Maybe uh, switch up and throw something that's a little more white, blue, rather than that dark green or dark blue that you're throwing. And I've just found that to work really well. So back to it. All right, folks, on to tip five and the last tip of the day. So when I'm out on the water, I always like to bring a water and a snack with me. Because when you're out here and it's hot and you're paddling, it's easy to get dehydrated, so it helps to drink water. And the snack just makes those last couple hours of paddling around and fishing just a lot easier and you know, you don't get hangry, it's just nice. But that's gonna be all for today's video. I didn't catch as many as I wanted, but I also didn't see the structure or the fish I wanted. There was a lot of bluegill around, but not a lot of bass. So I think this just might be more of a bluegill lake, but that's the way it goes. Hopefully you could learn something from my tips. And um, just remember though, as always with fishing, just because these are the norms and what usually works, doesn't mean that's what's always gonna work. I've used these tips and some days they work great. And other days when I think it's gonna be bad, it's great. Or when I think it's gonna be great, it's bad. So as always with fishing, just keep experimenting. And that's all for fishing with T-Rabbits.